Have you ever felt a deep sense of isolation, even surrounded by people? It's a strange truth of our hyper-connected world. Loneliness seems to be on the rise. This paradox is both puzzling and deeply relatable. We yearn for genuine connection, yet navigating the complexities of modern life feels like venturing into uncharted territory. But what if the answers we seek lie hidden in the wisdom of the past? Stoicism, an ancient philosophy embraced by great thinkers, offers more than just strategies for facing hardship. It's a guide for living a fulfilling life, filled with connection and contentment, even amidst the whirlwind of our modern world. Intrigued by the idea of finding deeper peace and connection, then join us as we delve into stoic practices to combat loneliness and cultivate a life brimming with meaning and joy. Let's explore how these age-old teachings can be surprisingly relevant and remarkably effective in our contemporary lives. Trust us, it's a journey worth embarking on. Beyond the gym, the stoic approach to wholeness. When you think of movement, what springs to mind? Perhaps a jog at sunrise, a yoga session, or a visit to the gym. While these are all fantastic activities, Stoic philosophers, those champions of wisdom and resilience, viewed movement with a deeper significance. It wasn't just about physical fitness, it was about achieving harmony with the world around us. Imagine moving your body not just to sculpt muscles or shed weight, but as a way to connect with the very essence of life. It's like sending a message to every fiber of your being that says, we're in this together. Every time you reach for the sky with a stretch or embark on a mindful walk, you're not merely moving, you're having a conversation with your soul. You're affirming, I respect you, I'm listening, and I'm here for you. This form of self-care extends beyond the physical. It touches the emotional and spiritual realms, and it's undeniably powerful. The beauty of the stoic approach is that it doesn't require fancy equipment or expensive gym memberships. It's about seamlessly integrating movement into your daily routine in a way that feels natural and enjoyable. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Let loose and dance to your favorite song in the living room, or simply stretch during a work break. Transform movement from a punishment for dietary choices into a celebration of your body's capabilities. But why is this so crucial, especially in the fight against loneliness? Physical activity releases endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that light up your brain like a festive display. More importantly, movement grounds you in the present moment, connects you to your surroundings, and reminds you of your inner strength. It's a powerful recognition that you're alive, capable, and more resilient than you might believe. Number 2. Instead of being harsh on ourselves, self-compassion is about fostering gentleness, allowing us to build strength for impending challenges. It's about treating ourselves with kindness, similar to how we would treat a cherished friend. This shift in perspective empowers us tremendously. It strengthens our ability to bounce back from difficulties, fosters a positive self-perception, and most importantly, reminds us we're not alone on this journey. Our world constantly pushes us to crave more, achieve more, and constantly improve. Having ambitions and goals is fantastic. It propels us forward. However, the danger lies in getting so fixated on what's next that we overlook the present. Enter Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king with wisdom that transcends time. He wasn't just an emperor. He was deeply invested in understanding how to live a meaningful life. The cornerstone of his teachings is finding happiness not just in achieving goals, but also in the act of living, striving, and dreaming itself. It serves as a reminder that life truly unfolds during the journey. The daily grind, the small steps, the setbacks, and victories. Think about it. When pursuing a goal, it's easy to believe happiness awaits upon reaching it. However, Marcus Aurelius would advise finding joy in the pursuit itself. It's about being present, appreciating the moments of struggle and growth, and recognizing the beauty in the process. This doesn't mean abandoning ambition or pushing yourself. It means weaving contentment and gratitude into the everyday fabric of your life. So how can we incorporate this stoic wisdom? Begin by dedicating a daily moment to reflecting on what you're grateful for. It could be something as simple as a delicious cup of coffee, 
a conversation with a friend, or progress made on a project. The key is to train your mind to acknowledge and appreciate the good, even amidst challenges. But there's more to it than just gratitude. It's also about redefining success. Instead of solely basing success on outcomes, consider the effort, learning, and growth that come with each step. Celebrate the minor victories, learn from setbacks, and remember that each day is an opportunity to live by your values, strive for excellence, and find joy in the present moment. We've all gotten so bogged down in the daily grind that we forget about the vast world outside our immediate concerns. It's a common occurrence. We become fixated on our problems, immediate needs, and struggles to the point where that's all we can see. Here's a captivating concept. What if you could zoom out considerably and view your life from a fresh perspective? This concept isn't new. In fact, it's a centuries-old Stoic practice known as the view from above. The Stoics, including brilliant minds like Marcus Aurelius, advocated for taking a broader perspective to gain clarity and perspective on challenges. Number 3. Roman philosophers Marcus Aurelius and Seneca frequently promoted this exercise as a way to gain a fresh viewpoint on our lives. Imagine yourself gazing down on earth from the vastness of space. Your life, with all its victories and tribulations, is merely a speck in a sprawling, interconnected cosmos. Suddenly, the things that seem so enormous and overwhelming appear smaller, more manageable. But why is this shift in perspective so impactful? Because it brings to mind the bigger picture, allowing us to see beyond our immediate difficulties. Recognizing that life is a rich tapestry woven from experiences, people, and moments doesn't diminish the significance of our problems. It's more about comprehending our position within the grand scheme of existence, which can be incredibly liberating and humbling. So, how can we integrate this stoic wisdom into our contemporary lives? It's much easier than you might think. Begin by setting aside a few moments each day to reflect and remind yourself of life's vastness. Meditation, gazing at the stars, standing atop a mountain, or even studying maps and globes are all effective methods. The objective is to mentally zoom out and view your life from a broader perspective. This practice can have a profound effect on how we handle challenges. When you're feeling overloaded or stuck, recall the view from above. Think about the billions of people on Earth, each with their own unique stories, struggles, and joys. Reflect on the limitless expanse of the universe with its countless stars and galaxies. It serves as a reminder that while our lives are important, they are also a part of something considerably grander. There's an undeniable strength that comes from facing challenges alongside others, whether it's conquering a challenging hike with friends, collaborating on a difficult group project, or simply navigating life's ups and downs together. It's about that sense of shared spirit, the feeling of unity that conveys, hey, we're in this together. The Stoics were fervent proponents of community and mutual support. They recognized that life is not solely about individual triumphs and challenges, but also about the connections we forge with others. It's about transforming the solitary I into the unified we, and within this transformation lies a profound source of solace and fortitude. When we share our struggles, open up about our anxieties, and collaborate to overcome them, we not only assist ourselves but also one another. Consider the immense power that comes from knowing you're not alone in your battles. That moment when you look around and recognize that others are engaged in their own fights, yet are prepared to stand by you in yours. This isn't about minimizing your own experiences or struggles. Rather, it's about acknowledging that suffering is an inherent part of the human experience and that there's strength in facing it together. Therefore, how can we incorporate this stoic wisdom into our daily lives? It begins with openness and vulnerability. It's about reaching out for support and providing it in return, about fostering a community where everyone feels seen and heard. This might involve lending a sympathetic ear to a friend in need, joining a support group, or simply sharing your story with others. Number 4. Our interactions with others have a profound effect on us and those around us. But this goes beyond mere emotional support. It fosters tangible collective action. 
working together, big or small, on community projects or societal reforms, embodies the stoic principle of reciprocal aid. It's a reminder that our actions, combined with the efforts of others, can create significant change. Learning to endure hardship with others doesn't mean celebrating shared struggles. It's about finding comfort in the universality of the human experience and discovering strength in our collective resilience. It's a call to uplift and empower each other, transforming individual challenges into triumphs achieved together. Imagine being caught in a metaphorical tempest with howling winds and pouring rain. Stoicism doesn't advocate standing alone and enduring it. It encourages you to seek help, to ask someone for shelter, because there's undeniable power in numbers. It's about understanding that we belong to something larger than ourselves, a community, a collective spirit, navigating this journey of life together. Seeking help is a testament to human connection. It acknowledges our limitations and embraces the fact that we're not isolated entities. We're interconnected beings who rely on each other for support, guidance, and strength. There's a profound stoic wisdom in this realization. It's a recognition of our shared humanity, a nod to the idea that we're all part of the same cosmic tapestry, each weaving our thread, but ultimately contributing to the same grand design. So, how do we integrate this stoic wisdom into our daily lives? First, by acknowledging that it's okay not to have all the answers, to feel overwhelmed or uncertain. What matters is our response. Do we withdraw and isolate ourselves, or do we reach out, open up, and seek guidance? The Stoics would advocate for the latter, urging us to lean on our community to find strength in the collective knowledge and experience of those around us. Here's the key. Seeking help isn't a one-way street. It's about giving as well as receiving. By allowing others to help us, we open the door for mutual growth and support. We create a cycle of giving and receiving that enriches our lives and the lives of those around us. In doing so, we embody the stoic virtues of courage, wisdom, and a sense of belonging. Stoicism teaches us the value of identifying what truly matters and holding steadfastly to it. It's not about ignoring the world around you, but about discerning what deserves your focus and what doesn't. Imagine your life as a journey with your own personal roadmap your goals, dreams, and aspirations. Number five, the guiding light in the constant hum. Stoicism's call to focus the Stoics would argue that your goals and values are your guiding star, the unwavering light that directs your journey. Imagine yourself walking this path, but instead of serenity, you're surrounded by a perpetual hum. Social media pings, trending topics, the ever-churning news cycle, it's all there, constantly vying for your attention. It's no wonder we get detoured, veer off course, and lose sight of our initial destination. But staying focused on your path requires remembering your guiding star, even when the darkness seems all-encompassing and the distractions are at their most deafening. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic thinker, emphasized the importance of staying true to oneself and not succumbing to the maelstrom of external events. He believed it's not what happens to you, but how you respond that truly defines you. This is a powerful notion, isn't it? It's a call to maintain your heading, to stay committed to your journey, even when the world seems determined to throw you off track. So how do we achieve this focus in a world that never shuts up? The first step is to carve out a moment each day to rekindle awareness of your goals and values. What are you striving towards? What truly holds significance for you? Once you have this clarity, it's about establishing boundaries. Yes, boundaries. It's perfectly acceptable to decline things that don't align with your path. It's okay to retreat from the clamor and concentrate on what truly matters to you. Perhaps the most stoic approach to remaining focused, however, lies in acknowledging and accepting that there will be obstacles and distractions. They are inevitable parts of the journey. The key isn't to let them discourage you, but to use them as opportunities to fortify your resolve, cultivate resilience, and reassert your commitment to your path. From emperors wielding immense power to the most ordinary people, we all share a common destiny. Everything changes, everything fades. 
This constant state of flux offers a beautiful, albeit humbling, reminder to live to the fullest and cherish every moment. Now you might be thinking, isn't that a bit depressing? Hold on a second. This isn't about dwelling on negativity or succumbing to existential fear. Quite the opposite, actually. Recognizing the impermanence of things compels us to appreciate the preciousness of the present moment. It's about understanding that since nothing lasts forever, we have this incredible opportunity to maximize the time we have. Imagine viewing life through a stoic lens, where Marcus Aurelius reminds us that we could leave life right at this very moment. Let that realization guide your actions, words, and thoughts. It's a powerful call to action, isn't it? It's not driven by fear, but by motivation. It's a nudge to stop procrastinating on what truly matters, to stop waiting for some undefined someday. Because the truth is, all we have is today. But how do we translate this stoic wisdom into everyday practices? First, by cultivating gratitude. Take a moment each day to appreciate the people in your life, the experiences you've had, and even the simple joys. It's about savoring the little things and finding beauty in the transient nature of life. Additionally, it's about living authentically. If our time is truly limited, then why waste it on being anything but true to ourselves? Number 6. Recognizing when to ask for help. The power of vulnerability. Why waste precious time pursuing goals that clash with our core values or fail to spark joy? The Stoics encourage us to live a life that aligns with our fundamental beliefs, a life that, upon reflection, feels authentically ours. Ultimately, it's about releasing burdens, letting go of resentments, the past, and even the fear of the unknown. It's about acknowledging that, just like the seasons, chapters in our lives transition. This constant change fosters growth, learning, and most importantly, the chance for a fresh start. The Stoics, with their insightful wisdom, teach us that adversity isn't simply something to endure, but rather something to embrace. They believe that every rejection, setback, and challenge is essentially the universe presenting a test. Let's see what you're truly made of. These moments, these duels with fate as it were, offer us the opportunity to cultivate greater strength, wisdom, and resilience. Consider this. Life throws inevitable curveballs, job loss, a project's failure, or a personal blow. The initial reaction might be disappointment, frustration, or even despair. But here's where stoic wisdom illuminates the path. Instead of succumbing to the curveball, you rise to the challenge, prepared to respond with everything you possess. You ask yourself, what valuable lessons can I glean from this experience? How can this make me a more formidable person? This isn't about dismissing the inherent difficulty of challenging situations or feigning that they're easy. It's about acknowledging the struggle and then summoning the courage and resilience to confront it directly. It's about transforming adversity from a roadblock into a stepping stone. The beauty lies in the fact that the more we practice embracing challenges, the more adept we become at navigating life's obstacles. We start to discern patterns, valuable lessons, and opportunities for growth in unexpected places. We become more flexible, adaptable, and receptive to change. So, the next time you encounter a challenge, remember the stoic approach, embrace the adversity, meet it head-on, and declare, I acknowledge you, and I'm ready to learn from you. This powerful shift in perspective can transform not only how you face challenges, but also how you navigate the world around you. Feeling discouraged, isolated, or simply overwhelmed is akin to carrying a heavy weight on your shoulders. Surprisingly, even the wisest Stoics, those paragons of virtue and resilience, felt the burden of the world at times. They grasped a crucial truth that we often forget. It's perfectly acceptable to feel, to be vulnerable. This vulnerability is an integral part of the rich tapestry of the human experience. You see, stoicism isn't about denying your emotions or pretending they don't exist. It's about acknowledging them, understanding them, and learning how to effectively respond to them. Number 7. Reframing Resilience The Stoic Path to Strength The Stoics, Champions of Wisdom, 
courage, fairness, and self-control, also placed high value on introspection and emotional understanding. They recognized that facing life's hurdles with fortitude and grace requires initial acknowledgement and comprehension of one's own feelings. So, when discouragement washes over you, when loneliness threatens to consume you, or when the world feels overwhelmingly burdensome, remember, you're not alone. These experiences are universal, weaving a thread that connects us all. There's power in embracing this vulnerability. Admitting, I'm having a hard time here, is the first step towards lifting that heavy stone from your shoulders and setting it down. But here's the crucial element. Don't simply acknowledge your emotions in isolation. Share them. Talk to a friend, a loved one, a therapist, anyone who can offer a listening ear filled with empathy. Because in sharing our vulnerabilities, we discover strength. We realize we're not facing these struggles alone. That connection, that shared human experience, can be incredibly healing. The Stoics firmly believed in the power of community and support. They grasped that while the path to self-improvement and resilience is a personal journey, it needn't be a solitary one. We are social beings built for connection. It's within these connections that we find solace, support, and ultimately, a way to lighten the load. The Stoics, with their deep understanding of human nature and the universe's workings, offered a powerful framework for navigating life's challenges with resilience and grace. Number 8. Reimagining Impermanence Embracing Wholeness Through Quietude This passage champions the importance of contemplation and introspection, practices highly valued by the Stoics. They understood the significance of carving out slices of tranquility within the daily whirlwind. These intervals served as a chance to hit the pause button on the external cacophony and delve deeply into their own internal landscapes. It was within these pockets of stillness that they unearthed clarity, serenity, and most importantly, the wisdom required to navigate life with virtue and fulfillment. Integrating this stoic practice into our contemporary lives might initially appear overwhelming. Our calendars are overflowing, our phones are constantly buzzing, and there always seems to be something clamoring for our attention. However, the key to seeking stillness isn't about ostracizing the modern world or retreating to a secluded cave, as tempting as that might seem at times. It's about discovering pockets of peace amidst the clamor, moments where you can sever the connection with the external and reconnect with your inner world. Imagine life as a bustling metropolis, filled with honking vehicles, a hurried populace, and screens flashing incessantly. Seeking stillness is akin to finding a tranquil park nestled within the heart of that city, a place where you can settle on a bench, close your eyes, and simply breathe. It's about hitting the pause button, even for a mere few minutes, to become attuned to yourself and the world surrounding you in a more mindful and deliberate way. And here's the delightful surprise. You don't require anything extraordinary to discover this stillness. You don't necessitate an hour of silent meditation at sunrise, although that's fantastic if you can manage it, or a week-long retreat in the wilderness. All you need is a sprinkle of intentionality, a few dedicated moments to carve out a space for quietude within the symphony of your day. Embracing challenges, finding growth through difficulty, Life can throw us curveballs, both big and small. It might be the constant ping of your phone notifications, the ever-present noise of headphones, or the general business of daily life. The Stoics believe that by taking a moment of quiet pause, even if it's just turning off your phone for a walk or simply focusing on your breath, we can rediscover ourselves. In these moments of stillness, our thoughts become clearer, we gain a better understanding of our emotions and uncover what truly holds value for us. This clarity brings a sense of peace, a refuge from the constant demands and anxieties that life throws our way. Acknowledging our feelings, the stoic practice of emotional honesty. Life is unpredictable, full of surprises, unexpected turns, and the occasional setback. The Stoics believed in embracing this uncertainty, not with a sense of resignation, but with a kind of deep-rooted peace. 
They taught that while we can't control everything that happens to us, we can control how we react. When we talk about accepting things as they are, it doesn't mean giving up or becoming passive. It's about recognizing that some things are simply beyond our control, and that's all right. It's about focusing our energy on the present moment, the what is, rather than dwelling on the what ifs. This doesn't mean abandoning our goals or dreams. Seeking tranquility. The stoic path to inner peace. Instead, it means pursuing our goals with a sense of composure and clarity, knowing that we've put in the effort and the rest is ultimately out of our hands. Imagine the freedom that comes from letting go of the need to control every aspect of our lives. Think about the anxieties and worries we can avoid by simply accepting that some things are as they are. This acceptance allows us to navigate life with grace and ease. Finding peace by accepting life's flow. The ultimate stoic acceptance. Acceptance isn't just admirable, it's incredibly practical. Here's the stoic twist. When we accept things as they are, we're not just surrendering to fate, we're aligning ourselves with the natural flow of life. We acknowledge that life, like the seasons, has its cycles of growth and decline, success, and setback. In this acceptance, we find a profound sense of peace, a solid foundation amidst life's constant changes. So, the next time you find yourself caught up in a whirlwind of what-ifs, take a deep breath and remember the wisdom of the Stoics. Focus on what you can control, give it your best effort, and then let the rest unfold as it will. Accepting things as they are isn't about having no influence on the world. It's about finding the most effective way to live in harmony with it. There you have it, a glimpse into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, adapted for our modern lives. Remember, it's not the challenges we face that define us, but how we choose to respond to them. As you move through your day, your week, your life, carry these lessons with you. Let them be a guiding light in times of difficulty, a reminder that even in the midst of chaos, there's a wellspring of strength and serenity within you waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining me on this journey. You're not just viewers. You're an integral part of this stoic journal, a community of thoughtful seekers and resilient spirits. If you found value in our time together, consider exploring more by watching one of the suggested videos. Keep questioning. Keep growing.